Hey guys, welcome back. I have quite the update for you. Because I have been doing quite a lot of grinding and uh, spell collecting, you could say. And you'll have a look at our stats now. We have improved significantly. You'll notice we have uh, Ultima on our strength though, with Zell and Squall. We got full life on uh, our HP apart from Zell, who's got the Aura spell. Uh, just because it was, <coughs> just because it was taking way too long to get those full lives, uh, there might be a better way of doing it. But um, I'm happy with uh, with this for now. Um, you'll notice Squall now has a speed stat. Now I haven't actually got any haste spells on him. Um, I was going to do that, but then I just sort of got bored. So uh, we just put double on that for now. I actually used the speed junction scroll on Carbuncle to get that ability. And, um, yeah, Zell now has uh, Evade and Luck, because I, you know, got some AP and learned some abilities with, uh, uh, Cactuar, was it? Yeah, Cactuar, so, we're pretty much all set here, you know? I mean, we could be much more powerful than this, but I think this'll do for now, and uh, this'll do for the next part of the game. Well, the next thing we're gonna do, which is another side quest. We're going to go grab ourselves some uh, some GFs, I think. And, um... I need to... Yeah, we need to head, I think, to the southwest. It's right down in the bottom left-hand corner of the map. It's a secret location that we could have uh, we could have actually seen with our garden, but I don't think we could have actually gone here. Um, I'm not too sure, but we're going to do this now. And uh, in fact, I've gone a bit too far. Where the hell is it? I know it's around here. So uh, hello, it's around here somewhere. This is it. Quite a cool location, this, but quite. Uh, I say dangerous, it's probably not too dangerous for us now that we have these stats, but it, if you're not quite as powerful as I am at the moment, this place could be quite tough. Because there's a few sort of mini boss fights here, and uh, some incredible boss fights, so... Zell's going to tell us where the hell we are, because he thinks he knows this place. And I've always liked this screen. Don't know why. Uh, let's hear it, go on then. Okay, here goes. This island's most likely that mobile research facility. Huh? AKA Battleship Island. What did they research? They were trying to develop a draw system like ours. They probably travelled all over the world to gather different energy and materials. Don't know how the heck they ended up here, but uh heard they did some hardcore research here. They even used GF uh, for exa for experiments. To science geeks, it was a treasure island. Hmm. No, no, I don't think you're BSing at all. Zell would never bullshit me. We definitely... He, he deserves more credit than we give him. I definitely agree with that, yes. Now. Here comes the fun part. Or the first of many. Looks like it's been abandoned for years. What is that big blue thing? It's moving. Yes, this blue light thing is uh, what we need to examine. But the problem is, which you'll soon... Yeah, the blue light leads all to death. Turn back. So when it's lighting up like this, you do not want to move. Otherwise, you will enter into a uh, random encounter. And there's nothing you can do about it. So we want to avoid that by just moving when it's completely gone. Like so. But I just want to quickly check my abilities, just to see what we've got equipped at the moment. Encounter none is pretty useless to us actually here, so... I'm going to give him... Hmm, HP bonus? Or mug? Hmm, because I do know for a fact we, end, we will end up leveling up a little bit here. Because there's some enemies we have to fight that will give us experience. So I'm going to keep these bonus things on. I think everyone's got these equipped. Yep, yeah, okay. 
and Quistis has got those, plus a little bit of speed. And as for... Okay, that's good. Magic draw a cover. I'll get rid of... Uh, do I want defend? Or do I want item? Item might be more useful, actually. And... Zell, we want you. Oh, he's got revive already. That's good. Alright, I think we're all set then. Uh, one thing I didn't mention is... Uh, Squall's strength can now reach the maximum of 255 if we had... Uh, or at least pretty damn close to doing if we put on his uh, strength percentage. You know, like 40%, 20%. So he is a powerhouse, and Zell isn't too far behind. And because Quistis has ultimate on her magic, she is doing some nice damage as well. You have perceived at the resonance. Don't know what that means. Now this is a pretty easy pattern to monitor at the moment, but it, it uh, gets more tricky as you get closer. It starts to try and uh, pull some nasty tricks on you, see? Looks like it was fading and then it comes back and the uh, the intervals become more frequent. So it's, it's better just to be safe than sorry. I can't remember what enemies you have to fight if you run into an encounter here, but I don't think they're that scary, so I don't know, it's no biggie if we do get seen. Sort of, uh, kind of reminds me of, you know, that game, what's it called? Oh! Have we done it? Aha! So you wish to challenge me. It is not our will to fight. Well, that's the only option we have, so... We don't have a choice. And the first, um, sort of fight we can't really avoid is a ruby dragon. Now, we've fought these guys before, and they weren't too tough, so, um... Oh, but looks like Odin's gonna kill it for us anyway. So I don't get to show off how much damage we can do. That's okay, because we're going to have another opportunity. Because I do believe you have to fight two of these things. But yeah, they're, they're quite tough, these ruby dragons. If you're not careful. Of course, because we're quite a low level, they will be as well. Oh, that's a lot of experience, see? Good job we have our bonus things equipped. Yeah, alright. An Inferno Fang, only one of them. And of course, all of our GFs are going to level up here. Begging for mercy. Never. And here's the second Ruby Dragon fight. Let's hope Odin doesn't kill this one. Okay, so we had a back attack there. Yeah, it doesn't do too much damage to us there, that's good. Uh, what can we draw from it? Ah, rubbish, okay. Recover on Zell, I think. Ooh, that did quite a bit of damage to Squall, though. Right, uh... Just attack it, Zell. And we're gonna show off a limit break here. We are gonna be doing some considerable damage with Squall here. Definitely. Although not quite as much as we could be doing. Because I don't have those, uh, like I say, those abilities equipped at the moment. Uh, Magic-wise, what could we use on it? Um, actually, no, we need to use Recover on Squall before he gets killed. And we could revive him straight away, but... Um, in fact... We might be able to kill it without a limit break. I was going to cast uh, Aura on uh, on Squall, but I don't think I'll bother. Should be able to do this. Although, I could use it on him. We have 73 of them at the moment on uh, Quistis, so yeah, why not? There we go. So, we should be able to use limit breaks now. Yes, even when we are full health. Aura is an amazing spell. Are we gonna get a special on him here? Ooh, okay, rough divide. We don't seem to be getting many uh, Lionheart attacks out, but I think we've killed it. Right. Not too bad. 
And of course, more levels up. So a squall's level 20 now. Uh, more Inferno Fangs. Now, chaps, are you ready for the first boss of this area? Damned imbeciles, why do you wish to fight? Now, it looks like you only have two options here. But you don't want to be picking any of those, you want to pick this one. The hidden option, it's our nature. There is no real reason. Maybe we were born only to fight. And thus triggers the appearance of my favourite GF ever. My favourite Final Fantasy summon out of all the games. Oh, oh, the King of Dragons himself. Bahamut. Oh, yeah. This guy's awesome. But I don't think he's going to be too tough. To fight, that is. He fears us, does he? He has every right to fear us. Now, he's got some pretty cool spells here, but... Um, there's no real point to... S oh, I could stock some flares on Zell. Um... From life, we got full, so that's... That's alright. Let's just... Let's try and kill him, shall we? Aura on Squall. And he, he is quite strong, physically. And we don't really want him getting off any attacks on us. If we can help it. So, we'll just uh, rely on limit breaks, I think. Boom. Perfect. Oh, and a blasting zone as well. Not sure how much uh, HP Bahamut has. I think he can have up to 90,000 if you're like level 100, but I don't think he'll have too much. In fact, is he still kicking? Oh, he is. I think maybe one more limit break and we'll have him. Uh, cover. Attack. Yeah, our our team at the moment is just so damn powerful. But there are sort of optional bosses in this game. Some of them that I might actually end up doing, who knows that will still completely kick our asses, you know. Like I say, I could have uh, spent a bit more time getting more magic and stuff like that, but I just, uh, I spent a few hours doing it, so I thought, you know, this'll do for now. And we have defeated him. Ah, that's a very good item, a hyper wrist, strength plus 60% ability. And we get his card as well. Awfully nice of him. And yes, we'll keep that name. Confirm. So, there's only two more GFs in the entire game for us to get now. Another path for your destiny to your destiny awaits. You're indeed an interesting one. Brimming with passion. Okay. So, let's just have a look at Bahamut and see what abilities he's got. Right, so he's got the rare item ability, which is nice. Uh, more likely to receive rare items, of course. Now, this is a crucial one. Ability times four. That is amazing. Uh, I'll show you why in a minute. I think you can guess. He's got Mug, and he's got he's got Strength plus 60%, and Magic. Excellent. Uh, auto Protect. I'm going to stick him learning that straight away. And only one Magic spent with... Uh, wild double. Well, that's okay, but uh... yeah, okay, right. So I think I'm gonna give Bahamut to Squall. That's what I reckon I'm gonna do. There we go. Right now, abilities. We can get another one set here. So strength plus sixty. We'll give him that for now. And look at that. We're nearly maximum strength already. Two hundred forty-eight. And we're only level 20. That's pretty damn awesome. And, uh, like I say, everyone else's stats are pretty 
pretty nice. Um, I could get rid of speed if Aquistus and just put magic plus 40 for now as well. So if she's got 166 magic stat, that's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. So I'm liking our setup at the moment. I really am. Now this hole in the ground is... Uh, you can't really do anything at the moment, but if we leave this place, go back to the Ragnarok and go to sort of the conference room or something, I think if we return after that, something will have happened. Now, I've actually got a guide open for this next part because it's been so long since I've done it. I remember there being like a bit of a a bit of a trick to this next part, so I will be consulting this guide, yes. So please, you know, forgive me. I'll uh, we'll see how we do. Anyway, um, to the cockpit. Right, uh, so you can chat to everyone. More spontaneous. Whatever happened to that ring, the one with the monster head? I kind of gave it to Renoa. I do know where we're going, but we'll wait a second. I just want to, for some reason, it's telling me to go down to the conference room, this guide. So we'll do that. I don't know if uh, this is actually the right point in the game to do this. Now that I think about it. Anyway, this is the conference room, I think. Nothing's going on here. Hmm. Well, we'll go see. We'll go have a look, see if anything's happened. And if not, well, we'll just uh, leave it for a little bit later on. Very, very happy, though, that we've got uh, the Dragon King on our side. Might be able to show him off in battle, actually. Alright, so let's land here again and just see what's going on. I wanted to get this sort of done out of the way because it is quite difficult, or at least I do remember struggling. And yes, a save point's popped up here. Which is odd, isn't it? And we can actually climb down. No, come on. No, no, no. I didn't tell you to do that. No, for God's sake, Squall. What are you playing at, man? I want to climb down. There you go. And I think because we've got Zell in our team, he's actually going to change what we have to do here for some reason. There's a draw point there. You see the fishy swimming by, and my dog's going mental, for God's sake. He does, whenever someone, like, comes to the door, he just starts barking like a madman, the little maxi pup. I bet you can hear him as well. I bet you can hear him. Eight dispels. So, this place is not familiar to me at all, guys. It has been a long time. I usually just get Bahamut and then I leave. I never come back, so... Let's have a chat with everyone, can we? Can we talk to them? I wonder why they abandoned this place. What is that, by the way? I don't know. What is that? There's a terminal buried underneath the rubble. 